Hey there, welcome. It's me, your host, Amy from Penventure, and this is another Pentalk 101 video. And we didn't have one of these in a long, long time. The subject of this video will be fountain pen filling systems, types and everything. Let's roll the intro and get back. In this video, I'm gonna serve you up some of my favorite and some of my most interesting filling systems that are available on fountain pens. And I have a tray of pens. I'm gonna move it out of the picture and I'm gonna walk you through some of the most simple ones and we will go gradually into some of the most complicated. We will talk a little bit about each and every one of them and I'm gonna tell you some of the pro and cons. Uh, I don't know, maybe this is helpful for you. At least this is something that I wanna share with everyone that's watching my content. Let's start with the most simple filling system that you can have on a fountain pen. And that one is a eyedropper. What does that mean? I have here a fountain pen and this is my Denny Trio Short Genkai. Although it has a much more simple filling system like the eyedropper, it is a very high-end luxury fountain pen or at least it is expensive. Let's talk about the filling system because that is the main area of focus for our video. We start showing what actually makes a fountain pen be a eyedropper filling system. And uh, yeah, well, you spotted one of the first things about eyedropper fountain pens that you can very easily get your fingers inky. Actually, what does make a eyedropper fountain pen is the fact that you can uh, remove the section and you can insert your ink of choice in the barrel of your fountain pen. There isn't anything like a very complicated system that draws ink through the section into the pen body. Of course, it is simple. It is very easy to wash the ink of such a filling system and another very, very big bonus is the fact that you can use the entire barrel of your fountain pen and uh, you can have a lot of ink in that barrel. This aspect will be appealing for a lot of pen users because they want to use the same ink and they don't like to fill up their fountain pen on a weekly basis. The cons, you can get your fingers inky very easy like you see and this is a fountain pen that i've washed sometime it will have uh, ink flow issues if it's uh, not properly sealed or the air exchange will not be um, let's just say uh, optimum so when you fill the pen with ink you need to let that ink soak in for a day or two if you have an ebonite feed that will demand sometime until it's uh, fully soaked in. Another pro regarding the eyedropper is that you have the last moving part, so you don't need any greasing, any maintenance. It's very simple, it's very straightforward. I think a lot of entry level pen users can benefit from such a filling system. And we have here my Lambrou pens, LB6, a very high-end fountain pen with a very easy, quick and uh, simple filling system. The price doesn't dictate what filling system you can have in a fountain pen and I'm going to show you. This is a standard international cartridge converter and this fountain pen can be used both with cartridges, international cartridges and with a converter. It is a very easy option to have on a fountain pen in regards of it's very simple to maintain, it's very straightforward, it's very easy to clean, it is very very practical, you can very easy use it with a bottle of ink or with a cartridge, so it's very simple. The cons. First of all, let me tell you that one of the cons that I've encountered in my collecting years and using such filling systems is the fact that sometimes, I don't know what it is, but this cartridge converters can be very tricky and very unpredictable. 
the ink flow is all over the place. Sometimes it's very wet, sometimes it is very dry. They need maintenance, they need to be greased, and you need to pay attention to these factors. Also, the plugging in and the plugging out in time will damage this uh, small edge of uh, the converter. You need to change them and you cannot use them endless. And we move further to much more complicated ones. First one is on my Leonardo Penventure exclusive Momento Zero Grande Urushi fountain pen. This one is a captured converter. I'm gonna show you how it looks. So this is a big converter from Leonardo that is glued to the section. It is a very simple filling system, yet it comes with some rules. You cannot use it with ink cartridges. You need to use it only with bottled ink. You don't have an access to grease, so you can expect uh, that in time it will be needing some greasing. Only way that you can get there is by removing the nib and feed with a toothpick. You need to take a little bit of grease and you can be uh, very, very careful, but I'm sure that you will touch the inner walls of the section and uh, that can ruin your ink flow. Ink and grease doesn't mix that well. You don't want anything in those little channels that ink and air are exchanged in order to offer a flow for your nib. Technically speaking, this is a much more difficult to maintain filling mechanism. Other than this, when it comes to washing the fountain pen, it's quite easy, but it is time demanding because you cannot uh, remove it and flick the ink that's remaining in there. You need to draw water, you need to expel it and do this a couple of times until you rinse the whole ink in the pan. Those are some of the facts of this filling system and let's move further to the next one. As you've seen, we are going gradually to more and more exotic choices. The Visconti Double Reservoir Power Filler. It is a long name and uh, the system itself is quite, quite easy to understand. It is composed of two different chambers. We have the one right here and a little one near this ring. In order to draw ink, we unscrew the piston and we pull the rod. Then we dip the fountain pen in ink and we cover the entire section. Then we plunge the piston down, creating vacuum behind the piston. Once the piston is fully pushed, it will burst that bubble of vacuum, drawing ink through the nib and feed into the fountain pen. It is a system that's a little bit more complicated, appealing visually when you use it. At least if I want to impress someone showing off what a fountain pen is capable of, I take one of my homo sapiens that have this system and it is a demonstrator so you can see inside and I'm gonna show him how a fountain pen is filling up with ink. You just wait and see their look when they see the ink traveling backwards into the fountain pen. Mm, that's sweet. This uh, double uh, reservoir power filler, it is a filling system that is trademarked to Visconti. It offers uh, the possibility of traveling with this uh, fountain pen in a pressurized environment like the cabin of a plane. You just need to drain the little window that is closer to this ring into the barrel of the fountain pen. Then you close the piston like this, sealing off the ink behind the piston. So now you can take this fountain pen in a pressurized environment without getting your uh, favorite shirt stained with ink. The cons. And first of all, let me tell you that if we move gradually to much, much more uh, complicated uh, filling systems on fountain pens, you're gonna observe that you need a little bit of knowledge tools and techniques in order to maintain them. So this will be tricky to grease. The only way you can grease this filling system is by removing the nib. The nib actually gets to be removed with a special tool. Then you need to go in with a toothpick. You need to pray to God not to touch the other inner parts with grease and uh, it can be tricky. Another disadvantage of this filling system is the fact that I don't know about you, but changing the ink every single day, it's not viable because you will need 
to lose a lot of time doing something like this, pumping out ink, washing the font pen, then drawing fresh ink inside. So with this filling system, uh, it's better to choose your ink and go with it as long as it's going to last you. Something that I almost forgot, this filling system demands a certain trick in order to fill the entire barrel of uh, this pen with ink. And I have a video of this technique. I'm gonna link it up here or up here. You can watch that. If you have a double reservoir font pen, you can very easily fill the entire barrel of ink. This uh, offers a huge, huge ink volume. Okay, let's move further to something much more exotic. And I have here my Bologna extra in arco bronze this is a fun pan that has a vacuum filling system uh, i don't know the exact name of uh, this filling system but um, it is uh, used by asc in their bologna extra fun pans and not only that let me show you how it works so inside the barrel we have a latex sack and uh, we need to compress that in order to remove the air. We unscrew the end knob. We have a small hole right here. We cover that hole with our finger, then we plunge. That creates inner pressure that is going to uh, press on the latex sac. That will remove the air. Now we put it uh, with the nib submerged in ink till the section level, and we get our finger off that small hole the sac will get back to the original shape in the process drawing ink. I'm gonna show you how it looks inside. This is how it looks. We have a metal, I think this is brass shell and inside right here, you can spot that there is a black sac that gets compressed and when it gets back to the original shape, it draws ink through the feed and nib. Above anything, it is a filling system that I will tell you that it has its own personality. So you can expect this filling system to offer times that the nib will write very wet because of the air pressure. So if it is a rainy day and the barometric pressure is higher, you will see that the fond pen is wet. In normal days, it is not that wet, but it has a lot of cons starting with, first of all, the inner sac. You cannot use any exotic inks because that will melt your sac. So basically you are limited to very, very safe inks like Waterman. It's very, very tricky to wash the ink out of that sac. Some inks uh, will crust up. This is from uh, my own uh, personal experience. Although there isn't many moving parts, I think it is a tricky filling system for a fountain pen. You need to take into consideration the fact that sometime down the line, you will need to replace your sac. And that needs professional uh, assistance or you need to learn how to do it yourself. You need to buy the uh, sacs, you need to buy the glue and you need to learn the new skills. But again, it's cool and you actually need to pay for it for the cool factor. Moving further, we have a button filler. Yeah, it is one of the most funky and weird filling systems. It's weird, but it is simple and it works. I have here my Delta Dolce Vita oversize uh, demonstrator, the same system like on the ASC Bologna with an inner rubber sac. This time we don't have air that will compress the sac. We have a button with a rod that will compress the sac. Then you put it in ink and when you remove it, as you've seen, the sac gets to its original shape and it draws ink into the process. Very straightforward, but there is a lot of things that can go wrong. You need to take into consideration that uh, this uh, rod that touches the sac may damage the sac. In time, you need to replace the sac. It will not be that elastic and it is aging. Cleaning this fountain pen is not that easy, but again, having it in a demonstrator like the one we have in front of us, it's very, very eye-pleasing to see how it works. We move to one of the most complicated uh, filling systems. It is on my Mont Blanc 1912. Poof, magic, there is no nib. Well, it is a safety pan. And for those who don't know what a safety pan is, it is a fountain pan with a retractable nib. 
turning the end knob, we can uh, extend the nib. Where is the filling system? The Mont Blanc 1912 uses a piston filling mechanism, but it is a very smart designed one because it is designed to work on the same action of um, getting the nib inserted or extracted like so by twisting but now you need to pull the piston knob like so then it goes one click and now if we turn the piston knob we will operate the filling system and this is a piston filling mechanism it was much more easy to show you a straight piston filling mechanism than this one to make the video a little bit more shorter i just show you this so the piston filling mechanism is composed of a piston that will be going into the pan body downwards to get the air out of the pan when you screw it in it will move to the back of the piston uh, knob and in this process we'll draw ink. This one is much more complicated because it works on the same system like the retractable nib one. A lot of things can go wrong. There isn't much more uh, ink volume left because that rod needs to travel into the pan body. So that limits how far and how higher a piston can move. The, it's much more tricky and time demanding to wash and that can be a downside. That's kind of it. If I've missed something, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, I will be more than happy to answer. If you have a much more stranger, filling systems on your fountain pens, let me know. This is what I have on my fountain pens at this moment, and I think I've covered all of them. Let me know if this was useful, and if it was useful, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the algorithm to reach out to many more just like you. Down below, you will find some links for my website, my social media accounts, my email. If you're looking for an extra writing instrument, visit PenVenture, and I'll be more than happy to help you. If you want to support me doing videos like this, subscribe to the PenVenture YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on and if you want to see more quality content from PenVenture and myself click on this video and enjoy. My name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, stay strong, bye bye.